We're going to discuss invoicing from distributors. Now, it's super important to review any preliminary invoice from one of your distributors to make sure that you don't need to make any last minute changes, whether they're removals or increase. Over here at Amazon Lit, our average removal on a preliminary invoice is right around 8%. So that means 8% of the products that we were originally deciding to purchase, once we get back final pricing and we look at the listings again, we remove 8% of that total order. Now that adds up to a lot of money. On a $10,000 order, that's $800 in savings in removals. And we don't want you wasting your money on products that aren't making you money. It's all about putting profit back into your pockets. That's the name of the game here. Also, reviewing preliminary invoices is a great opportunity to make order increases. Our average order increase is right around 7%. So that means for every $10,000 order, we're making an increase of about $700. So adding additional quantities to products we are already purchasing, that is a huge opportunity to grow and scale your business because you're already put in the work to research them. You're already going to put in the work to process them. You're already going to put in the work to unload them from the truck, load them to the UPS or load them onto an FTL or an LTL truckload, whatever your preferred shipping method is, you're already doing the work. So if you can capitalize on purchasing more inventory of the same SKU, it's gonna really cut down your labor costs and generate more profit for you. And that's the name of the game here. That's what we're trying to teach you and show you to do, how to generate more profits so your Amazon business can become a profit generating machine. So now we have our beautiful order together. I'm excited about it. The total value for this order is between $2,613 and $2,757, depending on if the wholesaler distributor approves some of the discounts we requested on the pricing. So this order is close to $3,000. This will meet 98% of the MOQs or minimum order quantities for the distributors across the country. Uh, most distributors have an MOQ, $1,500, $2,000, so this order right here which if I wasn't teaching it to you would have probably taken me maybe 40 minutes 30 minutes to put together Eric is being way too humble about this order it would have taken him five to ten minutes tops and I get why he said this for the newer seller if you're that new seller it's to prevent you from getting discouraged and we don't want you to be discouraged but the truth is an order of this size nowadays takes five to ten minutes tops in the past, it would have taken us much, much longer. But with repetition and experience, you will also learn to fly through research. The more you practice, the better you will get, and eventually the processes will be second nature for you. And one more thing. Eric would never submit an order without going through a large chunk of the catalog, if not all of the catalog. This was done so there isn't an 80 part, 10 hour product research section. Please remember, always take your time, go through each listing, search using title and then UPC, and then follow all the steps we provide you. If you only have $10,000 or $6,000 or even $2,000 to spend on your order, it does not mean you are done with your order once you hit that amount. You go through the entire catalog and at the end, you remove the least profitable ASINs and keep the ones which are best suited. You still keep the ones that you remove though at the bottom of your PR template or on a separate tab. Therefore, as your funds come in and grow, you can go back to these listings, quickly analyze, and place another order with your supplier. Rinse, wash, and repeat. So very quick, in 30 minutes, you can find $3,000 worth of products and get those right over to your wholesale distributor and place that first order, that second order, that subsequent order, a reorder, whatever it is, communicate with your wholesaler, hey, I'm ready to place an order. So we're going to go through the process in which to do that. So first thing you always want to do is you want to refer to the email that they sent you 
when they sent you the catalog because there's usually some information on how they want the purchase order to be received and here you could see that this catalog was sent and it has highlighted in bold here it says please submit PO or purchase order in an Excel file with item number UPC description quantity and price so that's five things item number UPC description quantity and price this is what this wholesaler wants um, from the customer who's submitting a purchase order it makes their job easier it's important to submit the information that they require we operate a wholesale business and it's very frustrating when you ask for an excel file and they just send it to you in an email or you ask for item number upc and description and they just send you a upc it's very frustrating to deal with customers like that and you don't want to be that customer you're trying to grow this relationship and make it as easy for them as possible so we got those five things that they're requesting. So on the second tab here on the PR template, we have a PO tab. And the PO basically has, for this specific supplier, I've added all five things that they request. They request the description, the item number, the UPC, quantity, and price. So now what we're going to do is copy that information from our PR template into the PO tab on the PR template. So it's very basic. All you're gonna do here is here it says description and item number. So here we have the same columns, description and item number. And we're just gonna paste these right here. So now we got the description and the item number. Now it says UPC. So you wanna copy that UPC column. Then it says quantity. So you're matching it with the columns header right here, which is quantity. And this quantity is in units. Now it's important to send quantity in units. I get tons of emails from our wholesale clients where they'll send me the description from the Amazon listing and the ASIN amount they want. And then they want me to figure out what the ASIN is, what pack size it is, and how many ASINs they're ordering, and then do the math. It's ridiculous. Don't be that wholesale customer. Nobody likes that wholesale customer. It's very complicated to deal with a customer like that. So you want to submit the quantity in individual units or cases, depending on what they request. In this case, they're requesting quantity in units. And then you need to submit the last thing, which is column E, which is price. So we have two different prices over here. We had our want price, which is the price we're requesting, and then our need price. So what we're gonna do is we're going to copy our want price, because that is the price we're requesting with, I think it was between a five and 8% discount, depending on the product. So we're gonna copy that over there. And now I'm going to expand this because we're done with that side of the PR template. And we're just gonna look at this. So if you remember, we highlighted on the PR template, we highlighted these two products the same color, the UPC and the item number. And the reason why we did that is because here, you now know that you need to add these two together because you don't want to have the same product in two different locations on a purchase order. It's just unnecessary. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do some basic math here. We're going to do 288 plus 160. And now the new order quantity is 448. So 448, we're gonna delete this other one. Now we'll expand the description section. So they have the whole description and we're just gonna clean this up a little bit because you don't wanna send it with all these highlights. So what I like to do is just highlight the area. I'll do white in the back. Then I wanna center everything except for the description i will put that to the left now it's all organized nicely expand this a little bit so it's got the description it's got our item number it's got the upc it's got the quantity it's got the price it's ready to be submitted. The last step is to export it as an Excel file. They don't want a Google Doc. If you refer back to the email, they said, please submit PO in Excel format. So if you go right here to File, Download as Microsoft Excel, and this should populate right here. So we'll click on it, and boom, here it is in Microsoft Excel. So we're gonna enable editing so we can make some changes. Center this on the screen here, and now we're just gonna delete 
the PR template tab because we do not need that. We do not want to send that to them. So sometimes when you download the Excel file, you just got to reformat a little bit. So here it looks like we lost the lines. So we're just going to add those lines back. We'll do all borders. And now here's our order description, item number, UPC, quantity, price. So when the wholesaler distributor is looking at it, it has all the information they requested. And now I'm going to save this file as you want to give it a PO title so this one is going to Avid Wholesale Group so I will call it Avid Today's Date 01-2020 and I will save this all right so now we have the order it's saved as Excel file now we're going to email it to the wholesaler distributor so we're going to type in their email address we're going to type in a title. You always want to have a header. So we're going to say this is new order. And now we've created this file for you to know exactly what to say when you're submitting the first preliminary order to a wholesaler distributor. You're just going to write their name. In this case, it will be Eric. So Eric, attached is a preliminary order. Please send over pricing and availability. Thank you. It's that simple. So we're just going to copy this right from here. We're going to paste it in here. We're going to type the person I'm addressing. And now I'm going to attach the file, Avid01-2020. And we are going to send this out. Click send. And now successfully you have submitted your purchase order to the wholesaler distributor. And then they will get back to you with pricing and availability as requested in the email we sent. Stay lit.